What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing a minor hodgepodge of reviews for this week. So, um, I've been generally doing a rewatch of Stargate SU-1, so that review will be coming out soon and more information as far as um, how I've been rewatching it, so look out for that coming soon. But in the meantime, as far as stuff that I've watched this week, I'm going to start off with the trailer for Star Wars Visions, a new series coming to Disney Plus in September. I believe the release date is September 22nd. It's a series of anime-inspired shorts in the Star Wars universe. Um, So it's kind of a different artistic style than what we've seen as far as shows like um, The Clone Wars, Rebels, even Resistance. Um, So this is, like I said, it's more of an anime-style show, so it actually looks very, very intriguing with the story elements and and not necessarily all of them but the the stylistic design looks very intriguing so um as far as the trailer goes overall it did um inspire me to want to see the series i mean i'd watch it regardless because it's star wars but um the trailer did a good enough job to pique my interest as far as wanting to see it um i couldn't make sense of as of as far as how many episodes are going to be in the season or if there is even going to be multiple seasons but from what i can tell it looks like there's going to be at least six episodes so i'll look out for that coming in in, at the end of september on disney plus but overall uh, definitely worth a look or a watch for the uh, trailer um on youtube there is an english dub version and i I believe it's an english subtitled version so uh, whichever version you want to watch, or either word version you want to watch, there are they are both available on YouTube. Um, so that's really all there is to say about that. Um, it looks like there's some you know some parts set in the Resistance era. There's uh, someone who has to hold a lightsaber, so potentially a story that's maybe reminiscent of um, Hidden Fortress or something like that. So uh, we'll see if maybe there's a throwback to some of the classic. Um, Japanese films that inspired Star Wars and um, what they do to translate things like that over into the Star Wars universe or if they're generally just going to be stories in the Star Wars universe with a more anime style to it. Um, So with that um, I've also started watching the Marvel series What If also on Disney Plus. So this is a series that takes the stories that we've seen in sort of what we've seen in um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but ask what if, uh, if what if those events had happened in a different way. So as of this recording, there are two episodes out. The first one deals with what if Agent Carter had actually become Captain America instead of Steve Rogers. So there's a, it, the story so more or less takes place right around the time that Steve is supposed to get the super soldier serum, and then he they're unable to complete it because a guy with a bomb succeeds but then doesn't kill anybody and in order to make sure that the um, experiment isn't a failure um, Peggy Carter gets into that machine to become Captain America she leads the uh, Howling Commandos through their mission and she ultimately becomes Captain America but still falls in love with with Steve Rogers and vice versa so um, overall an intriguing story there Um, and then we get the second episode as far as what if um, T'Challa, Black Panther, had become Star-Lord instead of Peter Quill. And I kind of like the animation in that second episode a little bit better, even though I like the story a little bit better as far as um, Peggy Carter becoming Captain America. But it was intriguing to see um, how um, T'Challa would have been as far as being um, Star-Lord and how some of those events change and the, the little details get changed um, because of one um, event changing. So overall, so far, it is a good series to watch. So if you watch all the films in the MCU, then what if um, is most likely going to be of particular interest to see how events would have changed if something else had changed. And it comes nicely off the heels of... Um, the, uh, and now I'm drawing a blank on the on it comes off the heels of Loki where we learn about um, the um, he who watches or something like that and the what if is narrated by the guy by someone called I think it's the Watcher so it's basically continuing the idea of the multiverse and that how 
um, even though every multiverse can have a particular character, it, events can change and things are not quite the same. So it's similar as far as Loki goes, as far as having all the Loki variants. And it's related to um, um, what my rewatch of Stargate, um, coincidentally enough, to the point where it's in one of the um, middle seasons, I want to say right around maybe four, season four or five when... Um, maybe three or four when Daniel Jackson goes through a mirror and discovers that there's a way to travel through multiple parallel universes where the people who are who exist are the same but because of different events their lives turn out differently so overall that's kind of, so far with the two episodes what if is intriguing me enough to keep watching it so um, definitely worth a watch there um, so that's really all there is for this particular review and that's kind of where I'm at as of this as of this recording. So I definitely recommend watching What If. Um, it releases every Wednesday. So um, in case you're curious as far as when those come out, it's every Wednesday on Disney+. Plus. And of course, Star Wars Visions comes out at the end of September. So look out for that as well. So that's all there is for this particular update hodgepodge review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. And the website is headphonesneal.reviews for all episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in to this particular episode, and until next time.